Hello everyone, my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how easy it is to create a WSP package for a SharePoint solution deployment. To begin with, we are looking at an application here which was generated using RSP Designer out of the box where when we were generating the application we basically had selected our options for the SharePoint generation and that's why the theme has been automatically adjusted in the application settings here we have selected web application for Microsoft SharePoint 2010, picked my code language, framework, and a SQL statement generation. So once the entire application has been generated, the next step here is to create a WSP package. Now there are two things which are uh, required before a WSP package can be created. The first uh, and foremost, uh, the most important thing here is a Microsoft SharePoint DLL. That is a DLL that is available to you in a Microsoft SharePoint server. So if you go to the proper SharePoint server directory under ISAPI folder, you will find a DLL. That DLL must be copied to the bin folder of this application before the SharePoint deployment can be uh, can be generated with an RSP designer. The other thing that you have to look for is a WSP Builder, which is a free tool. So uh, if you search for WSP Builder, you will definitely find a link for it and you can download this link and install it on your computer of course uh, care should be taken in case it's a 2010 uh, SharePoint versus 2007 as 2010 at this present time is in uh, beta but 2007 has been fully uh, available so depending on which SharePoint you're using you will basically download the WSP Builder and install it once both these requirements have been uh, satisfied in order to build a WSP package you will uh, basically click on the deploy click on deployment visit out uh, within RNSP designer system will show you generate SharePoint solution package and of course this is only available for the enterprise edition as you can see then you click on next the system will ask you where would you like to create the uh, deployment folder I can basically define whatever my deployment folder it is and I can click on next sorry just too quick so I can just say which version it is what's the name of the company and all the details that you want to put in you can definitely put it in right here in the assembly information then when you click on finish system will go through uh, the process and is definitely going to look at the Microsoft Share DLL as well as the WSP Builder and it should be all you are required to do as soon as this project is done the uh, WSP package is going to be built as soon as it's done we can share with you where it is and uh, you can take this WSP package to a SharePoint uh, server and start deploying. Let's just wait. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds. It depends on the server, of course, or the machine where you are trying to generate this deployment package. It is pretty straightforward for both 2007 as well as 2010. From my experience, I have absolutely have uh, never had any issue as long as the, those two requirements that I specified to you have been uh, satisfied. So let's just uh, validate in case uh, to see where we are on a SharePoint uh, deployment folder. And as you can see, whichever the location we specify there's a deploy folder and within deploy folder you have all the details it will basically create all the data it is still going on probably it's uh, trying to compile at the last uh, step so after the compilation is done it will definitely put the right files and folders in this location and that kind of like uh, more or less uh, got finished and I hope that you enjoyed uh, your uh, your video and uh, you agree that how easy it is to create a WSP package. Thanks for watching and keep looking for more. Thanks.